Hello everybody, Cooper here and welcome back to another episode of the Steve Smith Career Mode here on Cricket 24. Today we've got the third Ashes Test up against England. We're here at Old Trafford. I'm very excited to score some more runs. They are yet to make a change to their team. It means there's no spin, which means we are going to score more runs and hopefully not throw our wicket away in the process and not run out any teammates in the process. That would be ideal, because I think we've done that maybe once or twice in this series. Maybe, maybe not. We've called heads. We've won the toss. We are... Mm, bat first? We've chosen the bowl. Every toss that has been won in this series, uh, England won the first two and chose to bowl. Australia have now chosen the bowl. But it's interesting to see what will happen. Because if we can roll them fairly quickly, that'll give us plenty of time to bat. And that's what this series is all about. Just batting and scoring as many runs as we can. We'll watch a couple of deliveries. We haven't uh, had the opportunity to field in this series so far, I don't think. There's a nick. We got a wicket. Crawley's gone second ball. He's out of here. Hazelwood picks up the wicket. I'm surprised Stark's not bowling the first over. Are they going to appeal? They're not going to appeal. There's a healthy edge. Might be a glove, I don't know. Sounded like a bat, but he's gone. Crawley's gone for a two ball duck. Ollie Pope is the new man. Let's, oh, I mean, we'll watch his first ball. Let's see what happens here. Hazelwood charging in. Oh, it's a leave. Let's skip forward now. We've seen a bit. We've seen a wicket. Let's skip forward, see what happens. A few early wickets. We had three for 33. Joe Root can't get another 100. Harry Brook gets his first 100. They score over 300. And we're three for 59 after a few early wickets. So we come to the crease. Uh, only needing 106 to cross the 10,000 test run threshold. Are we gonna be able to do it? I don't know. Hopefully we can do it in this episode. So it we'll depends, obviously, if, if we score the runs, but also how quickly we score the runs. Um, if the last two episodes have been anything to go by, we'll go score the runs very quickly. But yes, um, in the last episode, we did break the record for the fastest test 100 um, and then Immediately threw our wicket away after that. Uh, that's a good bouncer. To end the over. We're out with Travis Head again. Scotty Boland running drinks. Ben Stokes coming into the attack. Hasn't bowled yet today. Also, what day are we on? Are we, I'm assuming we're on day two. Yeah, we'll run that. Travis Head picks up another boundary. No, it's only going to be... Actually, we'll come back for three. That's good running. So he's actually going it over a runner ball, which is good to see. Because he uh, is obviously very aggressive in real life, but in the innings that we batted with him initially, he was batting at sort of Kawaj pace, which Kawaj pace is slow. So uh, the offside has been our dominant scoring area so far. And that's where our first runs are going to come from. We're gonna come back for a second. We're on the board. That's down the ground. Won't be four. Oh, the fielder's not picked it up. We're gonna get two. Fielder has just let it run past him. But we're gonna get two as said. Travis Head still doing very nicely. He shuffles on to 27. No, we're not running that. That's in the gap. We'll get one. Not too many boundaries in this innings. Obviously, I don't think we've scored a boundary yet. Doing it in ones and twos, which has not been the way so far. We have scored a lot of boundaries in the career mode so far. And Travis Head has just put one past Ben Stokes for four. Taking a bit more of a cautious approach to this innings, just seeing the ball go through to the keeper on a few occasions. Just waiting for that straight one that we can hit down the ground. There's a wide. 
and just waiting for them to change the field so gaps can open up like they have in the cover region. So if this is pitched up, which it is, we're finally on the board with a boundary. Same ball, same shot. We'll get four more back-to-back -back boundaries in the over. Stokesy's not happy with himself, nor should he. And there's my first failure of the series right there. Just a mistimed shot. I tried to do the same with the last ball, but it was a wide. And I've hit it straight to slip. I'm gone for 14. Proves I am human. 4 for 93 is the score. We are in a little bit of trouble. We come back in at 3 for 142. We'll do a quick rundown of the test. We need a further 282 to win. Ben Stokes got a massive 146 in the third innings. They ended up with 379. Uh, Joe Root also got another half century. So he is hot right behind me in terms of the runs scored. Um, but he's obviously a few hundred runs behind uh, but he actually might have caught up now, considering I didn't have a great first innings. But there is a lot of pressure on us. We're chasing 425. If we lose head, which I'm hoping we won't, and we lose carry, which I'm assuming we will at some point, it's all going to be on us. So we really have to play quite responsibly. And I don't know how much time is left in the match. I should probably look at that. We're in the middle of day four, so Broadwood and Anderson have gotten the wickets. Bairstow's got two catches. I don't know how I feel about Cam Green at number three. I'm thinking we should either promote Travis Head or myself. Or just about Renshaw in there and move everybody down one. That's probably how I feel. But yes, I'm not concerned about the runs so much. Because I feel like we can chase the runs down. It's more the... I'm going to run out of partners situation that I'm concerned about. So I know in the first couple of innings where I've lost a few of my tail end partners, um, I've then panicked and hit a shot that I otherwise wouldn't have played to try and score a little bit faster. So that is more what I'm concerned about. But if we can keep Travis Head put on 150, 200 run stand... That outside edge for four will help. It's actually a no ball as well. We'll take all the runs we can get. We will take all the runs we can get. That'll be a dot ball. Finding it difficult to get off the mark, which is a little bit of cause for concern. I'm thinking block and run. We can get behind it. Oh, we've kicked it onto wood. But it won't matter. We keep the strike. We get off the mark. Now we have to face Broad. I think we have to send a message with this delivery. And the next couple of deliveries at least. We've got to find a boundary. Show them that we're here to win the game, not just draw it. But there's not really much in terms of gaps. So I'm going to have to get a little bit creative. But not too creative because I don't want to give my wicket away. Picked the ball, we pitched it up. There's nobody back there. We'll get six. First boundary of the innings. I think Travis Head's been giving Chris Wokes a bit of tap. So we should probably do the same. There's four. Perfectly safe shot. Nobody back there. Just a beautiful drive. Swing through with the bat. We'll get another boundary. Not back to back. Actually, it might not go to the rope. I've gone too early. We'll only get the two. Didn't time that last one as sweetly. But yes, not much offering on the leg side. So we're going to have to say offside for now. But they start to pack the offside field, which I know they will. We'll then go leg side, which is not something we've done in the last couple of tests. I think we did it a little bit in the first test. So they've gone offside now. He's bowled it straight enough. We've tucked it around the corner. Sweeper cuts it off. We'll get two. 
What on earth is this field? They've got, we've got mid off, extra cover, short cover, backward point, one slip. Then they've got a deep sort of fine leg, a square leg, a short mid wicket, and a deep mid on. It's a very interesting field. We'll keep it out for now. Give the strike back to Travis Head. There we go. After a couple of dot balls, we break through with the boundary. Got to keep the scoring going. Wokes is back with this funky field. We'll go over the short cover. There's no one back on the rope. This is a perfectly safe shot, so I don't think I'm going to miss time it so badly it's going to go to the short cover. So even if I don't get all of it, see now they've got the regular cover back, so I'm probably not going to attempt that shot. We'll try and pierce the gap instead. We'll run the single. It's a good shot. We'll get two at least. I don't think I've timed it. Just be two. It was a wide the last ball, which actually wasn't a bad delivery because it got me playing the shot that I got out to in the last innings. That one will be four. That's a nice shot. Well timed. Hit through extra cover for four. That is a lovely shot. There's nobody back there. It's a long boundary. It's only going to be four. But I just want them to rethink this field. So I don't mind hitting a few aerial shots. I don't mind. So I want there to be more gaps so I can hit along the ground. So even if... They put a few men back on the fence. I can still pierce the gaps. But it gets us quickly to 46. Some positive striking. We find the gap anyway. I don't know if that's going to be the half century. It will be the half century. 32 deliveries. Started off a little bit slow. I think we were one off 10 at one point, but we've really sped through to 50 these last couple of balls. I know now's not the time to be thinking about individual milestones, but we only need 42 more runs to get the 10,000 test career runs. So that sort of is in the back of my mind, but as I said, now is not the time for individual milestones. And here's the wagon wheel, that one shot through the leg side, plus additional shots through cover, extra cover, and into the grandstand. So playing at Old Trafford in Manchester, the home of my beloved Manchester United. Obviously they don't play at this particular ground, but they share a ground of the same name. But yes, a beautiful little inning so far. Let's continue. That's down the ground. That's the first sort of straight delivery we've been given. It goes for four. So they've got two close fielders here. They've got gully, they've got short cover. They've also got the deep point. So we could go aerial sort of towards the offside. Oh, the fielders missed it completely. That'll be four more. A miscommunication between mid off and extra cover. We'll have a look at this again, although I think it's just going to show us running down the wicket. We get a nice close-up of Smudge. Moves us to 58. Head still on 41. Real full delivery that we do not take advantage of. I was expecting something like a Yorker length, sort of straighter delivery, so I was playing for that. But we get to drinks. Boland brings it out. I think there's about 45 overs left in the day. 29, I was completely wrong. Head's just given his wicket away with a pull shot that's gone wrong. I don't know what his plan was because there was a man back on the rope. So whether he was trying to get it extra fine. But Broad's taken a really good catch to be fair. And suddenly, pressure goes up a little bit. Carey is in. And he's made no meaningful contribution to the series so far, other than keeping wicket. Carey survives the over. There's still a lot of work to do. And I feel a lot of it's going to be off my bat. So we could be looking 
I think there's 218 to win, I think. 215 to win. So we could be looking at a big double century if we lose another wicket. Because I, if we lose another wicket, I'm going into full strike hog mode. That's almost out. I've almost given my wicket away. But yes, I will do whatever I need to to win the Ashes because I do not trust the tail. I trust Renshaw, but if he was batting at anywhere other than 11, I would just bat normally. But I don't trust him to not get out batting at 11. So that's sort of an area of concern. I've gone a little bit early on that. But we'll get four. Gets us into the 60s. I'll give Kerry a chance to prove himself and then hopefully he can he can do well. We've got plenty of, of reviews, which is good. So far, he's keeping the, the good balls out, soaking up dot balls. He's doing a job. Now, there's a gap. We could run it down through the cover region, which is where I'm going. I don't know if the deep cover is going to get there. He's not going to. We're only going to get the two. He is, sorry, he is going to. Now they've removed that fielder and put him at deep point. There's now a short cover in place and an extra cover. So going over the top of cover could be interesting. Although not my preferred shot at the moment. They've now moved him back. Which means behind point is open. Which might be the way to go. It's not where I've gone. Extra cover, sorry, deep cover will pick it up. We'll get two more. We'll hit it over the top of mid-off. It's gone back to the boundary for four. We'll give the strike back to Carey. We'll see what he can do. He gives the strike back to me the very next ball. I like his style. That's hit me in the helmet and fortunately has not gone back onto the stumps. Now they've really spread the field. Which is an interesting way to go. Which means we've really got to be careful with our shot selection now. That one's gone for four. After that last wild delivery, there's a bit more of a textbook field in place. And that's a bit more of a textbook shot. We'll get at least two. A lot more ones and twos in this innings. Just haven't been timing it as sweetly to the boundary with those traditional drives that we play. Could go over the top, although I wouldn't mind just going through extra cover. Now there's no mid on. He's right back on the rope. So we might just take the single. Have I run out carry? Oh, I've run out carry. Shit. I think I kicked the ball onto Stokes. Okay, we're five down. Time to get nuts. Still no gaps. Extra cover, sorry, the short cover is up. So that's where we're gonna go. There's no one back on the rope. Back-to-back -back sixes of Jimmy Anderson. Still haven't changed the field. It's over the top. Oh, jeez. I didn't time it as well as the others. But we'll get four. I was slightly concerned we may have just chipped it to mid-off. That's a wider delivery. It's a good ball. That's straight. It's down the ground. That should be four. Or it's, no, it's gone for six. Gets us to 98 now. How many off the over? 22 off the over so far. Got to try and get a single here. Get the quick single. Good job. Gets us to 99. There's men back on the leg side. I don't know why. I don't think I've hit a single shot there. For at least 10 overs. There's the 100. I'm sorry I ran out, Carey. But if we win the game, I don't think it matters all that much. We've got a long way to go. But I think that's our fourth 100 of the series. 
It's a shot I was trying to play in the first innings. It's actually gone for six at this innings. So he's gone short. I've sort of dabbed it over point. And it's gone over the rope. A couple of balls left in the over. There's actually three balls left in the over. So we might be able to snag another couple of boundaries here, hopefully. Probably going to be another wide, which it is. It's up-ish. It's cleared the fielder. It's gone to the rope. Four more. I'm not going to run that because I've got a short leg in place. Which is actually a good strategy. Forces me to give the strike to Cummins. But there's the wagon wheel. Lots of sixes, lots of fours, a few more ones and twos. And that one single shot on the leg side. But Cummins hasn't faced a ball yet in this partnership. That's a good job. I don't mind if you leave them all. Okay, they've got a very interesting field in place. They've put men back on the leg side. I'm assuming he wanted to bowl it short to force me to hit it to the leg side. But he's pitched it up outside off stump. So I've just cleared the infield for four. Because although there's an extra cover and a cover point and a deep backward point, I can still just hit the ball over the top of those fielders. Or just in the gap. I don't think that'll go to the boundary, but we'll get two at least. No, it has gone to the boundary. And I should mention that Pat Cummins did very well in the last over. Ended up zero off six. We'll let that go. They've changed the field again. So you just got to hit the ball where the fielders aren't. Just keep changing the strategy and we'll adapt. This might be the time to give Cummins the strike and get him to face one ball. Although that is hit sweetly. Couldn't quite pierce the gap. After a, a wide on the first delivery, Jimmy Anderson's decided to go around the wicket. I'm not going to run, but if it goes to the boundary, we'll take four. I'll take one. We'll give Cummins a couple of balls. I just want to see what he can do. Because of all of our tail enders, Cummins is probably the one I trust the most. If I wanted to score runs quickly, I'd probably go with Stark. Lyon and Hazelwood sort of rule each other out. Cummins has probably got the best defense. So I'm happy that Cummins is at the crease at the moment. I'm still, I'm glad we still have him. So I can give him three balls every now and then, and he can just play them nicely back to the bowler. It's up, it's got over the fielder. We'll get four. He's in the air for a long time, but we survive. There we go, it's another boundary. They've changed the field. We'll get four. It's not going to be six, unfortunately. I thought it had a chance, but it'll be the one bounce four. It's over the top. It's four. Two, nine, nine for five. It's a good shot. Oh, the fielder gave up. We'll get two. That's a good result. Ugh. We don't get the strike back, unfortunately. It's good bowling. Now, Wokes is bowling to Cummins. Wokes, admittedly, has been expensive, but he does have a wicket to his name. Good leave, Cummins. See if we can squeeze two here. Cummins did really well in the last over. Oh, jeez, it's close. He did really well in the last over. He got two in the last over. Was able to survive the Wokes little barrage. Not sure if I'm calling Wokes as bowling a barrage. But you get what I'm saying. That's in the gap. There's four more to the cause. 116 to go. That'll be six, and the 150 as well. And I forgot to mention before, we are well past the 10,000 run mark in Test Cricket. 
22 fours, seven sixes in this inning so far. We're hoping for a few more. It's over the top, just. I've just cleared the fielder there. Five for 319 with two balls left in the over. We might take a single here. Actually, that might go for four. No, we're gonna get two. It's a good ball, it's probably gonna be wide. Yeah, it's wide. After back-to-back -back wides from Stuart Broad, we still have the strike, we're still trying to get a single. We've played and missed. Cummins is gonna to have to survive. But there's the wagon wheel. Feels like not long ago that we were just looking at a wagon wheel, but here we are looking at another one. 160 off 90. Doing very nicely. Not much more to say really. I'm just focusing on the run chase. I'm not really too worried about how many runs we score. More about the run chase. Uh, let's keep going. Cummins sees out a maiden, which is good. Stokes has brought himself back on. No run. I've taken a risk. And it's paid off. We get six. I didn't mean to do that. It's a good shot, but as I said, did not mean to do that. That is not a shot I will be making a habit of playing. We'll take the single, get off strike. You got three balls, Cummins. Good leave. He survives. He does a good job with 60 overs in. Just occur to me that we're less than 100 runs away. Wokes is going over the wicket. They've got basically everybody to a boundary. That was a poor decision to run that. The 100 run partnership where Cummins has smashed two. He's done a fantastic job. He's faced 25 deliveries. As I said, he's done a job. He just has to survive. Oh, we'll run that. We're only gonna take the one. Good job, Cummins. There you go, get another run for your, for the record books. Hit it off the back foot. It will be four. Stokes still going around the wicket. That might be in the gap. We're gonna come back for two. We can probably hit it to the leg side. We just gotta try and always get two. Although I don't want to play too many risky runouts. That one's going to be four. The field is not going to get to that one. So I feel like Crawley's not going to catch it. They've, he's still there. But he bowls it. Oh, he's copped that in the thigh. That would have hurt. But it's that one we've got to be careful of. Those sort of mid-pitch length deliveries. I haven't timed that one quite as well. We're gonna stay with the one. I don't wanna run out Cummins. So if Stokes is gonna go around the wicket to me, we might see a few more leg side shots. Cummins, he's done well so far. I've had to take off my dressing gown. I'm feeling a little bit warm. One ball to face Cummins. He survives. Now Anderson's going around the wicket as well. We're gonna try and squeeze two. The fielder's got a lot of work to do. We've done well. All right, mixed bag from Jimmy so far. There's been a few wides. There's been a few dot balls. There's no fielder there. It's cleared the rope. It's six. Actually, there, there was a fielder down there. I was trying to hit it. Oh, they've changed the field again. I was trying to hit it over mid-wicket, not over there. We've got to get a single here. I've nicked it. For four. I'll take the runs, but it's not what I had in mind. Cummins has done well this over. He's got a boundary to his name, probably the first of his innings. And he gets a single to get us back on strike. But we really need to get back on strike. So Cummins is out. 
I've checked. He got bowled by Anderson. I really shouldn't be taking the single, but I am. Just making it harder on myself. The partnership, I think, was, about, it was over 100. We'll have a look at it afterwards. Stark to Stokes. Sorry, Stokes to Stark. He leaves it. Okay. We got two balls. That's in the gap. It's going to be four. Gets us to 197. Now we just got to get off strike. Get the single. Move on. Gives, gives me a full toss. He's trying to double bluff me with the field placing. Now we've got a full over of Jimmy Anderson. Who did take out Cummins, we have to remember. That's up in the air. It's safe. It's going to bounce away for four. It's our second double ton. 28 fours, nine sixes, 113 deliveries. This gap, I'm very comfortable swinging away and hitting in if he's going to keep bowling it short. Because there's nobody back there. We may as well go for it. And how many runs do we have to win? I think we're within 50. We'll hit that one a bit more along the ground. A bit safer. We'll just get the two. We get the fully. Four more. Anderson trying to bluff me again. Like Stokes did in the last over. Anderson's tried to do the same. We'll take the single. I thought that was straight down the fielder's throat. That's why I didn't say anything. But we're giving Anderson one ball to Stark. We just need him to survive. And he's done it. And there's the double ton. A few more shots on the leg side now. There's been shots all over the ground starting to take shape. It's looking nice. I think our high score of the series is 219. We've got to beat that today for a victory. Oh, a five wides. We'll take him. That's going to help the cause. And we get an extra ball. Actually, that doesn't really apply. We're in a test match. I don't think we're going to be able to come back for two, but we're going to try anyway. And we do. We get there. It's in the deep. We get a full toss. Going to go for the two again. This time they go up the non-strikers. 30 for victory. It's in the gap. It'll be four. Actually, no, it's not. It's not going to be anything. <laughs> I didn't run. <laughs> that was a waste. I probably shouldn't play, play that too aerially now. They've got fielders out in the, in the rope. That's better time. That'll be four. Have our highest score of the series so far. Yep. Hopefully that'll go to the rope as well. Yep. We'll take two. That's the 400 up. 24 for victory. We need a single. Yep. We've worked it down to backward square leg for one. We get the strike back. And it's Wokes now. now. He's going over the wicket, which is interesting. He's bowled a wide full toss, which has barely made it through to the keeper. Um, I don't like, I almost would prefer him to go over the wicket now. Because he's not going to give me two. We'll take one. Stark gets through the rest of the over. Now Broad's going over the wicket. There's no protection on the offside. It's all on the leg side. Why are you bowling it outside off stump, Stuart Broad? 229 of 126 balls. That's a terrible delivery. The run rate is almost six. 17 runs to go. There's four. I think 250 is off the cards for me. I don't think there's enough 
runs for us to chase, for us to get the 250. But we're getting so close to the victory, we can taste it. That's a little high. It's another wide. With Stuart Broad bowling all these wires, it's not helping the cause, but we've got 12 for victory. There's half of them done. Gets it to 239 with three balls left in the over. I think that might be game. No, it's just short. <laughs> We're just short. If we get a single. I don't want to play for 250. But if we get a single and then hit a six, we can get the 250. I don't want to be that kind of player. But we're going to go for it. Ah, yes, we made it. I want to be there at the end. But the selfish part of me is going, 250, we need it. We are one run to, our score's a level. There's one run to win, 244 not out. And we had to come back for day five. Where's he going to bowl it? Where is he going to bowl it? I don't think it's got the legs. It's there, 250, yes! 250 and the win. How the hell have we done that? We've got there with four wickets to spare. What a game. And of course we get player of the match. Oh my Lord. And oh, an interview. I hate these things. Uh, loving the atmosphere on oh, the very best. <laughs> uh, I want to be the very best like no one ever was. I apologize if this is going to be a long episode guys, but I think it will truly be worth it. We win with the first ball on day five. We had to come back. What a performance. 250 not out. That is probably the biggest run chase I've done on, on any game that I've had to control the players. Cricket captain's a little bit different. I've done bigger run chases, but where I've had to individually play every ball, this is the biggest run chase I've ever done. Absolutely crazy, absolutely crazy. I hope this has been an amazing video to watch. We go 2-1 up in the ashes, there's still two tests to go, so we're at, at Edge Baston next. Anything can happen at Edge Baston. If we look at the standings, we've scored 838 runs in this series so far in three tests. The next Landmark, I'm assuming, is the 1,000 run mark in a series. I don't think anybody's done that before in a five-test series. I think Bradman's the only one to get close. I think his 9770, 974 is the closest in the 1934 Ashes. But yeah, 838 runs. Root, but no slouch, he's got 410 runs. He's got 200s and 250s. But man, we've, we've been crazy crazy in this series. Travis Head's been doing well as well. Harry Brook for England. Sam Hain having a pretty good career so far, averaging 40 with the bat. But none of our guys really... Alex Carey batting at six is a crime. Pat Cummins. Where, where's Pat Cummins? 84 runs so far. Really low strike rate thanks to that innings he just played. Um, but he's also leading the wickets. 18 wickets across three matches is really good. We're, of course, yet to bowl. I wouldn't mind bowling in this series just for a giggle, but we've got to win the Ashes first. Hopefully, we can do that in the next test. Our career average, what's it looking like? 61.94. Got a new top score in first class and test cricket. Our 36th test 100. We're only six sixes away from the illustrious... 106 club in test cricket. Not many players have done that. But yeah, what, what a start to the, to the career. This has been crazy. Thank you so much 
for everybody who's watched this episode. I apologize if it's a bit of a longer one, but I hope you can understand why it's been so long. But if you have enjoyed, um, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment if you're still here at the end. I'd really appreciate that. So it took me a long time to, to record this episode. It took me over an hour. So I really, really appreciate it if you could show a bit of love. So I'll catch up to you guys for the next test, the fourth test at Edgebaston. Um, but until next time, guys, I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you guys then. Bye.